All right, I am full screen right now because it is 2 a.m. in the morning. I recorded this video once and the audio was messed up. So here we go again. Now I'm going to show you guys something so crazy and something that is so cope filled that I'm actually speechless. So here we go. Ronnie DeSantis, governor of Florida, signed legislation today or I guess yesterday at this point, that makes November 7th Victims of Communism Day. Now, they're going to tell students about infamous regimes. They are going to uh, propagate, probably, that anything that is to the left of uh, the current GOP is communism. Now, I'm not saying this because I want to fear monger. I'm saying this because this is what they do time and time again. Um, these are the same people that called Joe Biden a communist. These are the same people that called AOC a communist. These are the same people that called Bernie Sanders a communist when his ideology is like, yo, I want people to have health care and I want people to be able to work a job and actually make a living and when they go ahead and rent a apartment or a home, they don't spend like over half their income on rent. So that is considered communism to the Republican Party these days. So I would not be surprised at all if they use this to propagate kids in schools against the idea of actually being able to make a decent wage in America. Hey, it's me during editing. Before anyone says... They won't literally tell kids making a living wage is bad. The political strategy is going to be to drill in the heads of kids that communism is extremely dangerous and is fundamentally immoral. And by the time they are voting age, they will be deeply primed in favor of Republicans who will call quite literally anything even slightly left-leaning Marxist and communist, therefore turning them against any left ideology ever so furthermore when we when we talk about ronnie DeSantis, this guy is just a full-on authoritarian it's not even like he is trying to hide it people pretend i guess on the republican side that he's not and he's just a good old freedom loving american brother but this is a guy who has banned the teaching of critical race theory which just means the effect of slavery banned mass books over critical race theory, which their average voter doesn't even understand, create election police to catch voter fraud, and try to put it under their command, which ultimately failed, but they still got the other part through. He created the Don't Say Gay Bill to make this false narrative that queer people are somehow turning your kids into degenerates. And he is now also running surveys in college campuses to check their ideology under the threat of pooling uh, tax funding to, to the public institutions if he deems them as too liberal. So this is what this guy is doing. He is a full on Trump like candidate, a Trump like person who is probably going to be running in 2024 because he has been giving his base red meat after red meat after red meat. Is they really do love him. They love the authoritarian style about how he dominates the woke left or something like that. And here we have it, um, the ultimate cope bill, which it is on November 7th because I assume they are still mad about the quote unquote fake election, which is they absolutely uh, got rolled in terms of the legality of it. They didn't win anything. And, uh, yeah, it is all a bunch of BS that Ronnie DeSantis is up to once again. And we will see more and more and more of it, I am sure. So, yep, here we go. That is what we have. <laughs> Unbelievable. But really, it's actually really believable because the Republican Party is just crazy. <laughs>